Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel video about marine engineering. Today my dear friends we will talk about again for the safety drills, we will take again a fire drill, a check and we will talk about uh, some interesting things. So as you can see we are already prepared, we are already in the master station to listen the announcement and to take the engagement uh, to eliminate the fire as much as possible. So here we are uh, wearing our protective equipment, our emission switch, uh, switch uh, also available, life jackets, helmets, uh, gloves, also gloves, it's really really important thing that uh, seamen must be wear because uh, there is sharp edges, there is a uh, slippery uh, conditions sometimes uh, and we must be careful for all that things. So always remember to wear your protective equipment because this will eliminate all the hazards. As we know, as uh, the bells was hitting uh, for 10 seconds longevity we get the fire alarm so we will all present here in the master station and from here we will begin uh, and we will separate to the teams which already know we already know from previously our positions we will have also communication between the teams in command and also with the bridge and the engine room uh, team leaders the team leaders of emergency squad and the support squad also so there is a lot of cases so as much as possible we are working these cases every week uh, we have a different kind of cases so what can uh, what cases we can uh, see on board the vessel. We can see fire, we can see abandon, we can see uh, some leakage, uh, let's say from overflow, uh, we can see a lot of uh, accidents uh, can happen, okay, and we must be prepared for all of them. So another thing, we can have a loss of power of the ship propulsion, we can have a grounding, a, a lot of things and there is a lot of scenarios uh, that must be work. First of all, uh, the thing, this thing helps for all people to be as much as possible prepared for uh, that conditions. So uh, they will know exactly what to do and how to eliminate, uh, eliminate the possible hazards and as we have seen from the studies that there is a chain reaction that when we are doing uh, things wrong uh, next thing will be followed and the damage will be uh, increase in the square and much much more and then when the chain will be completed with a lot of uh, wrong decision and wrong actions this will lead to the accident and possibly uh, the total loss of the property and the life. So that's why we are here to cut this chain of reaction, uh, the wrong case, and we try as much as possible to be prepared for such conditions. This is the best thing that drills must be done on Saturday, uh, on every time basis and the item of discussion also it's very important after the drill to see what have gone wrong so next time will be improved and also the time of the reaction will be improved always remember there is not necessary to run on your uh, position you are mass working uh, normally as it is a emergency condition not we are not going uh, for fun we are going to learn 
some interesting points of uh, safety appliances and safety application on board the vessel, which is really, really important. So as we are here, we can check also, we can make a test of our life jackets equipment. Life jackets equipment must not have any signs of deterioration and also the lights must be open. This is uh, the job of the second officer, the safety officer of the bridge. He will do such checks and verify that everything it's in good order. In case that there is some problem, uh, we must request new life jackets and uh, discard the old one. So after everybody is presented here, we have and we verify that everybody is presented. We have not any loss of uh, our crew. Uh, Chief Officer will read the names and one by one will answer uh, each, each name. So everyone here knows the exact position on the fire drill. And really, really important and one thing that I have seen is the communication is uh, is playing about the 70 or 80 percent of a uh, total reaction and action of the teams if there is lack of communication let's say bridge will give some announcement about how to act on the scene of the fire or the abandoned ship and one team cannot hear or cannot reach due to malfunction of vhf that is really really a big consequence so i have seen these things on board the vessels i have seen also about in two companies uh, these things and also i have seen a lot of problems with vhf uh, antennas and batteries which also it's very very dangerous thing i have seen some vhfs that the battery just slip over from VHF and also this is kind of danger about the spark because as you know the battery is the source of a spark on deck and just imagine a open source of the battery on the deck on the tanker so I have reported many times this kind of uh, things and I have seen some improvement from some uh, departments that they have solved this problem really uh, they care about that one and also this depends from everybody this starts from all the crew uh, how they approach the safety conditions for me the safety is the number one and is the most important factor on board the vessel this is not only for VHF, this is for all the things on board uh, which we are working, which we are trying to manage and to work in such uh, areas. So also very, very important thing is that the ship operation must be properly maintained in all stages of the life of the ship from the beginning, from the dry dock until uh, the operation and then until the end of the ship. So the proper planning, the proper implementation of IMO code and SOLAS code and all the other uh, implementation laws that uh, have been through the time uh, associated with the ship, these things must be followed as much as possible. Because as we know, uh, there is always a human factor which lies about of 80% of all uh, accidents.
So the mechanical failure will be about 10 to 15 percent or sometimes 20 but not more than 20 uh, that is sure. So let's move on as we have take the order our fire firefighters start to prepare uh, the equipment. First of all these firefighters and also you can see they have also two person assigned for per a firefighter so they will help also to prepare and test the equipment the equipment of masks and the bottles must be tested prior uh, prior entering the space because this is the vital vital organ and part of firefighter which gives him uh, and keeps him alive that is really really true also my dear friends i like to remember you that all this uh, equipment must not drop as it was a rug or something else because there is some sensitive parts like bottles like valves which can be damaged and uh, if we damage such equipment in an emergency time or previously we just uh, will delay our procedure so as you can see firefighter have some straps so they will be visible as much as possible uh, on the condition of the fire and as we know also the fire condition it's a very very strange thing because we have a lot of different materials as you can see we are located here in the form room and we have bulkheads metal paint here uh, epoxy paints we have some shelves which is made by wood another thing we have some isolation here uh, some wool isolation some cables some plastic cables so we have uh, the ship is mostly carry liquid okay but there is a lot of difference, uh, a lot of difference materials there, and combine of these such materials, they will be for sure production of toxic gases, and all these toxic gases will be uh, the equipment which will protect you from all these gases is this equipment here, the breathing apparatus. So very very careful must be. Uh, done here and for the preparation there is two ways to wear uh, the breathing apparatus the one way is overhead and the other way is uh, normally like you are putting a bag on your uh, shoulders so all the preparation must be done properly the person who assigned to help must monitor that all the equipment will be used by the firefighter is proper and all the equipment from the self has been taken so another thing that we can see here in the form room that we have our quick closing valve self normally it is located there we have some valves isolating valves and if i remember properly this valve here isolates the accommodation line so in case that our accommodation have a several damage and we have set our supply of seawater to these lines here and to this line we must isolate this because we will lose pressure and our bottom valves fire hydrants will not be supplied as much as possible water and pressure uh, capacities for extinguish our accommodations so we must be always uh, alerted about where the isolation valves located and what kind of uh, parts of the ship they isolate so let's move on to another picture here we have our 
Okay, reserve spare bottles, air bottles here. We have spare fire extinguishers here. Uh, we have also the rope, which we have talked before in the previous video about the signs and the signals. We have the flashlight, we have also the helmet and the full face mask, which also protects from the heat. As we know, the heat, which is a product of the fire, will spread and give the radiation around as the fire uh, as the fire it it will it will be uh, stronger the stronger the radiation okay and from the, the radiation from the radiation the fire can be transferred and travel to the distances so that's why it's very very important the cooling down of the potential spaces between the fire itself as we can see here we have a fire hydrant and we have also a isolation valve let's say if we have some leakage here or we have a total damage of the pipe here and we lose this water we need to close this valve but these isolating valves must be checked for proper uh, operation and this is some kind of gate valve which moves up and down it's really important that these valves are working because this kind of valves also can be requested from inspector to be test and see if they are working uh, good also this valve here as you can see from this form applica cannon this cannon can throw water and form the form which will be covered here the deck space and will provide su suffocation of the fire and reduce uh, the oxygen from the triangle of the fire so the triangle is not exactly triangle there is a square because we have also the chemical reaction of the fire so we have heat fuel radiation and chemical uh, reaction so we have also a hydrant here which will help to provide a fire hose and also fire hosted fire hoses uh, been tested always and check for proper condition and do not have any signs of duration also engine room fire hydrants also deck fire hydrants and also really important is to check that the proper fire hydrant the length is positioned in the appropriate uh, fire case fire hose case so here on also my dear friends we have some high level alarm for cargo tank system and also we have some overfill alarm which is audio and visual so let's move on this is just for your information only this here because we can see this kind of image this is our uh, inner gas supplied from the inner gas system to the tanks and here we have our coal system for crude oil washing uh, on the end of the operation for washing the tanks here we have another view of the manifold we are we are close here to the manifold we can see some crossover valves and here we have our uh, assign here we have our firefighters 
which approach to the manifold we have fire on the manifold the approach closely and uh, with care the manifold so they try to extinguish uh, so they will keep somehow uh, the umbrella spray so they will reduce also the radiation spread on their bodies and they keep as much as possible a low profile uh, body setup and position from the way of the fire so they will have less potential uh, spread of radiation on their body and on the equipment that they wear so the umbrella will protect them from this and after that they will estimate and also they will receive some instructions from the bridge the team leader will inform also the firefighters how to act and how to proceed on the scene of the fire that is also very very important the cool down procedure will take around uh, as we can see we have uh, conditions normal conditions we have not any wet uh, floor and this is our firefighters they are going more close and they try to fight uh, the fire we have also our form applicators uh, operated and send there as you can see the scene changed completely we have flow of the water and this is sea water here we have flow of the water uh, the boots for sure are slippery resistant but just imagine here uh, the fire itself this heat radiation the water from the sea water will be evaporate for sure and will make some kind of vapor around so it will be much much difficult to approach and see the exact uh, position and point of the fire so if there is leakage of oil also there is some condition of uh, let's say some leakage which also must be carefully managed because if we use some kind of uh, direct spray on the liquid this also will go uh, at sea this kind of materials if we include also crude oil and we do not like uh, these kind of things because as we know the ship itself have some kind of protection it's like a bilge it's a build with a race of the metal on the edge of the ship for all the liquids will remain on board in case that any of the piping will be leakage so also at the moment of the bunkering of discharging or loading that's why it's very very important for deck crew to observe all the piping here and also all the crew must be aware that after a several weather conditions and mostly in ballast conditions and uh, load conditions where the stress is as much as higher they must be prepared for everything and must be carefully uh, monitor all the piping around the vessel as that operation uh, continues so let's see our firefighters are also keeping a safe distance in case uh, that something happened so they can evacuate safely uh, as much as possible uh, the place they must never turn the face of uh, on the fire because uh, at any any case the situations can be changed in the events of the seconds so also here we can see that we have 
a fire plan here in case that the fire uh, is spread on the forecastle on the accommodation and we are somewhere here so we can see also where is all the necessary firefighting equipment and uh, we'll be able to fight the fire as much as possible and with effectiveness also here there is some trip uh, buttons for the cargo pumps in case uh, that you are interested so by pressing these buttons the cargo pumps will be trip let's go here let's see our guys here spray and if we set two main fire pumps uh, for sure the distance will be increased because we will have uh, as much as possible more capacity and more pressure in the line so our guns uh, foam guns will shoot further and with more capacity so if we're opening more foam applicators for monitors we will have a reduction of the longevity so test your equipment test your fire pumps so in any case they will be uh, properly operated here we have the support team which have some spare uh, battles and also such testing and some preparation must be done also for change the air cylinders uh, in case of our drill to make it more real situation to see the times of change because uh, it's very very important how we will do that because first of all we need to close the cylinder we need to open the valve down of the connection and then connect and also there is some straps here on the end which secures also the air cylinder which keeps this uh, cylinder in position all these things must be worked properly so let's see if we have uh, one moment if we have okay i believe we have finished these photos yes okay so i believe this kind of video really help you i will try to more uh, to make more such videos uh, which will help and make you more familiarize with such conditions so see you in the next videos don't forget to subscribe and to press the bell button for any further notifications bye bye my dear friends and see you in the next video